I believe that there are cheaters, obviously. I believe it. I am not saying, but it just, I was like, I bet 50 to 75% of the accusations on labs are completely false. You can get shot at from everywhere on labs at any time. And so many times people are like calling cheats because, you know, they just looked that way or there's no way. It's like, bro, these guys are playing on another level. They're playing a different game than I am when I'm crabbing through labs looking for my three stims. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the podcast, the show dedicated to talking about all the progress things in life, like music, content creation, and video games. I'm one of your co-hosts, Jesse Kazam. And I'm Veritas, uh, on my way to being a Kappa gamer. Dude, oh, I'm, I'm jealous you're farther along than I am. I felt like I was stuck on 55 for six years, and I look over it every time. Every time I open your stream, you're a different level. It was like 56, 57, 58. I was like, how are you grinding these so fast? Yeah, I mean... uh. I don't know if it's been the the weeklies. Yeah. Um, you know, but the dailies are kind of meh. Like a lot of times I spend way too long on the dailies. Um, you know, even if it's like twenty one thousand, that's like two lighthouse runs. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I've been yeah, accepting ones that I like it was we're gonna accomplish by doing what I wanted to do anyway, or ones yeah. that like find and transfer where it's like today it was like hand over two founded raid lines. And I was like, I think I have one or two of these. I hit accept. I had two in my stash. I was like, boom, 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 22,000 XP. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like. Yeah, but I got a couple hundred thousand XP to level. Was it 59 I was going towards? Yeah, I think um, you're 58. And then, yeah, I need a couple hundred thousand. Uh, and then I'll be 59. And then it's the, you know, the fucking grind. Whatever that last level is going to be. And then but, once you get to 60. Yes. You turn in your epsilon, and that gets you what, like a quarter of the way to sixty-two, or three quarters of the it way. It gets you like three quarters of the way to sixty-one, I think. From six, you basically skip sixty to sixty-one. You only have a little bit more, and then oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, because right, it's seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand <laughs> XP yeah. to turn in your epsilon. Yeah, so it's like it's basically get to sixty, and then get from sixty-one to sixty-two. Yeah, I'm. I'm. There are. I'm at the point now where there's a all the quests i'm i'm never not going to complete so loyalty yeah. buyout is pay skier a million rubles at some point i'll do that just to fucking i don't want to look at it anymore yeah i don't need the 0.25 <laughs> rep for skier i just don't want to look at this quest anymore um hunting trip i have no motivation to do that it's 22,000 xp and yeah kill that's Sherman kill with Sherman. The garbage. yeah i mean yeah. maybe if i get really bored um yeah and then uh, as collector, I have all the items. I just need to get to 62. The Same. stylish one, I've killed Killa three times. Definitely bro, not doing no that one. No way, bro. No way. Um, there's Night Sweep. I've actually I've managed to get two of the knives. That's two more than I've ever gotten. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah. Customs, bro. Customs. I, I think it was I think it was customs. No, it was shoreline. I, I would just got into the building. I had like God spawn. And I came in the back and heard, uh, you know how, like, if you come in the back on East Wing, you take a left if you're going towards, like, the Sanitar yep. room or whatever. A lot of times there's scavs, like, in the little corner outside. Yes, yes. Right so I hear that, and I go to, like, peek out the window, and I see a PM, or what I thought was a PMC silhouette on the f other side of the fence. Bro. And I like pop the head off, and then I hear like yelling I've never heard before. You're like, what? So then I, I run into the bathroom. They fucking spray me down. So I'm in the bathroom, and then two of them come into the bathroom, Bro. stab me, stab me, and then run out of the bathroom. And I was like, ah, dude, like, freaking the fuck out, dude. It's crazy. They're fun when they when you get them close like that. Dude, I was in the bathroom with my gun, like, up in the air, just spraying, like, oh, my God. And Bro. I managed to kill one of them. I grabbed his knives, and I got out. I just fucking left. Oh, dude, which um, is honestly smart to just, like, secure the knives if you have a few. Like, that's honestly smart. Ooh, that's 100,000 XP. That's Yeah, that's a, it's, a, it's a decent chunk of XP. Yeah, and then, so calibration is... Actually, that's not going to be too bad. Uh, uh, PMCs from 100 meters away, I have 12. I haven't I have, really. I have twelve as well, and I haven't even been focusing on it. I'll just take a day on woods, and you can finish that up because it's anywhere. Thorax arm, it's just kill him from hundred meters. So you play. And that's ninety three thousand XP. Yeah, 
that's a good and one. one. One level of perception. Oh shit, I'm at fifty. Level fifty perception. Okay, what? so that's click. Yeah, I'm I'm halfway to fifty one perception. Jesus, dude, are you freaking looting? How? That's crazy. I don't know. I think I'm I in like the high thirties for perception, and I'm fifty six, and you're fifty eight. Do you? And I loot a lot. I have sixty three million rubles. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Weird. I wonder if like your teammates are looting half of the shit. Maybe. Yeah. Just the. You know, the if you're doing duos. Playing duos. Um, then there's Hunter. I've killed Sturman two out of twenty five. Not fucking doing that one. You don't even get XP for that. Fuck no, that. No, but you get the Mark eighteen. You get unlock the purchase of the Mark eighteen. Like that. I get viewers to give me those. <laughs> um, <laughs> capturing outposts. Oh, the 15 PMCs on no way am I gonna do scav that. base. So I have two on scav base, on customs, four on woods, and one on yeah, shoreline. Yeah, it's just you're never going to, like, you're never, you need to get that, you need to get that quest day one of the wipe. Because you're not going to, like, you know, when you're level 55, you're not going to find 15 PMCs down on the pier on shoreline. Nobody's going out there. You know what I mean? What like, you got to do is go there with a fucking backpack full of grenades and chuck yeah. grenades. That always works for me. I, I always saw get Quattro one. Ace doing it. He had a stock AK. He would just shoot all the ammo up in the air and try and get people there. That's just like, when I think of what I would consider fun in Escape from Tarkov, the polar opposite is doing that. So it's yeah, just, there's yeah, just no like way. Um, then there's counteraction. Um, so that's 20. You have to kill 20 bears on Lighthouse. Yeah. And then turn in 20 dog tags so i turn the dog tags in easily um yeah. but i've only killed eight bear i can't find fucking <laughs> Dude, any of them. on lighthouse bro i've only i've killed six i have all the yeah. yeah i've turned in all this stuff too and then the last one which i want to get but it's going to take a while is find in uh, trophies find in raid and hand over 20 bear dog tags over level 50 yeah and 20 USEC dog tags over level 50. Right now I have one bear and I have nine USEC. Yeah, I didn't freaking realize. I just sold like 200 dog tags. I don't go to reserve. I sold 300. I'm not a reserve guy. And so I got to the cleaner, which is kill 50 rogues on reserve, just 50 rogues or raiders. And I was like, if it comes, it comes, whatever. And then I was playing with Velian and he had the untar, the bright blue untar armband. I was like, what the hell is like, where'd you get that? And he was like, you get it from the turn in fifth level 50 and you get that quest after you kill 50 rogues. So now I'm like, I kind of want to kill the 50 raiders on reserve so that I can get that quest. And I'm definitely saving my tags now. What, you want the armband? Yeah, it's just cool. Like the armband are like, I just think, I just think cosmetic items are such an easy, low hanging fruit. Like, like he, we, we got in the lobby and I was immediately like, what the hell? It's bright blue. No tactical. I mean, it's terrible. But I, I was like, I've never seen any player in Escape from Tarkov with that armband. I was like, where'd you get that? He was like, oh, this quest. And now I'm like, oh, shoot. Now I want to go play this quest so I can get that quest so I can get the armband. I think, I just think it's sick. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's, yeah, my perception is 36 at. and I'm level 56. How do you get it? Is it from looting? Yeah, uh, picking up items. So, like, if you search a bag, you get you get attention for uncovering items. You get search for searching an entire container, and you get perception by picking something up. If I'm not mistaken. Weird. Okay, what's your attention? They're all freaking ridiculous. 18, 19. I'm tw mine's 27. Oh, dude, you, yeah, it's got to be the solo thing. It's got to be just the solo, everything is just, just, just you, you know what I mean? And then what's your search? Um, My search is low as well, 21. I'm at 30. Yeah. Uh, memory, 37. I feel like memory, I feel like that all almost always... And it's, it might be confirmation bias, but I always notice it when I like fight a PMC and then like flank. It's almost like when I engage something and then separate and then yeah. re-engage again, which I don't even know if that's how you level it. But I have no idea. But it's I almost like you remember there was a player over there. Yeah, that's what it always feels like. I don't know. I have strength, endurance, health, and and metabolism elite. Oh, I'm at 46 health. What do you get for elite health? Uh, nothing. <laughs> what about elite perception? 
Dude, I've no, I didn't even notice I was high. Elite health, you get reduced uh, chances of fractures, decreased energy consumption, decreased hydration consumption, and the elite... Okay, it says elite damage, absor damage absorption. What does that mean? I don't know. Doesn't say an amount. People talk, people talk about strength being OP. You can literally eat more bullets. It doesn't say an amount. And even on the wiki, it just says elite damage absorption. You're you're cheating. Oh, elite uh, notes on the wiki. At this time, it is unknown what damage absorption skills current function is. There is no indication or evidence of its effects. That's a note Yo, on the wiki. We gotta fucking do some science, man. Let me just like pop you in the leg, see how much damage you do yeah. and all that stuff and see if, you know, if the bullet does 40 damage and you take 37 damage. It's like, yeah. oh, okay. Huh. Well. Also, the air filter is broken, which is still, it's like been two weeks. Still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm so glad I haven't it's been more than two weeks, yeah, hasn't it? I think it has been actually. I feel like people have been talking about it forever. I'm like, I don't know. I don't fucking. I don't have it. So yeah. Um, but yeah. So that's that's what, what I've been doing. I've been dude. Unless I have dailies, I've been doing nighttime. I finally nighttime lighthouse. I know how to do it. It's, yeah. I'm on the I'm on the fucking Show, cycle now. Tell me how because I've only done I've done a few nighttime lighthouse, but always to like loot, loot the chalets, loot the village and stuff like that. We play with geeks and it's fun. You killed scavs and other players. I've never really done any like nighttime rogue hunting. Dude, let me let I can walk you through it right now because yes. it, it so um I almost always spawn South Road, so fuck Dude, me. Dude, oh my god. Um, just pop an SJ6 yep. and just run. Um, and I've been running like SR25. Yeah. Um, the, the quad nod NVGs. I just turn off my post effects. Um, and it's bearable sometimes. If it's yeah. like foggy, you can't see shit. But basically, I make it to the, the west side, like along the shoreline, basically. Okay. And I run all the way to... You know where the bridge is, like right before the rogue camp. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm on the left uh, on the beach. There's like a metal shipping container mm -hmm. that's like right on the beach. I run up to that. I peek the right side and I kill the first gunner. They don't see you. No. They literally don't shoot at you. Yeah. Okay. So I hit the, the first guy in the head. Um, and then the the other guy can basically be in three places. So there's two guys yeah. close, two guys on the first building, um, two, uh, one or two on the middle building, and then there's the four rogues in the middle building. Yeah. So I literally take out the, the one, the first gunner, um, and then there's either a rogue, not on the next tower over but there's another tower yeah yeah the, it's like, like a red connex with a tent on it and the gun yeah yep. that's what the one sits yeah so he's either there or he's right on the ground to the left of where the first guy was yeah just on the grass no there's fucking like landmines like right there yeah um so yeah in for some reason if they're not there i'll usually just like overhand a grenade in the area yeah. and just wait to hear them run away or react but they're almost always uh um in one of those two places so then from there um i go there's like a hole in the wall on kind mm -hmm. of the left side it's to the right of the first tower where yep. you kill the first gunner and i basically just go get along the wall run along the wall stay close to the wall there's no mines um and then usually once i get uh a little bit towards there's like a connex there and then there's like a tent with like some loot uh -huh. crates and whatever I, I try to get it all depends on how foggy it is but yeah. I'll, I'll take out the the sniper on as the, early yeah. as possible um the, the the machine gunner then i literally will run over there's a, a box one of those broken down crates on the left side the broken down crates on the right side you know like the, the where the just try to find like a bitcoin or yeah. whatever um then i just go through that left building as soon as I get out on the other side, well, actually, you get to the other side, and there's right near the garage exit, there's like sandbags. Yeah. You jump up on the leftmost part of the sandbags and just go oh. crouch. And, you and can, then you can perfectly see the left gunner on actually. the other building. Yeah. yeah the, 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 the corner closest to you, yeah, basically. Yep. yep. Um, because the other one is on the left side. Yep. Closest to you as well. Um, so once. Uh, then once you do that, then I run to like where that box van is. Um, 
that's right outside like the main entrance uh the, the back entrance of of the the leftmost building whatever the fuck yeah whatever you call it um and i basically get on the opposite side of that van and then i look up at the other gunner there and i just back up until yeah, i until see, you see the top of his head yeah pop him in the head and then i run um now this was uh, uneventful gaming um is the one that that gave me this tip um, because what I used to do is cross the road and get over by those Connex yep. stack of con and that's where I would try to engage those guys. The but four like, guys down low. Yeah, but like 10% of the time, I would just get one shot crossing the road. Um, the other, you know, 50% of the time, they would just swarm me or spray me through those boxes. Yep. Um, and then, uh, so what I do now is I don't cross the street i run down the street in the middle of the street there's a pickup truck that's in the oh. middle of the street and i run up to the pickup truck and i that i've been like leaning outside like the front of the yeah. pickup truck and they can all four be walking around in the parking lot and they just don't react to you. yeah yep so i'll take Dude, those guys out again. and then i'll lit it's funny man because like you're like we talked about this early i was like the rogues are fun but they're only fun because you cheese them and it's like exactly like it's exactly that it's like if i just alt look lean right here they're all four standing right there it's nighttime so they can't see me and it's just like one two three four all right let's go <laughs> Ten thousand yeah. xp so um I, I had one raid last night though it was one of the sickest raids ever i spawned all the way in like the back mountains Oh uh, yeah, by, like where like that sunken village kind of area is. Yep. Ran all the way. I always get lost because I just never know where the mines are, and yeah. I always just end up going through the like cross the bridge and then cross the bridge again. I don't know if there's another. There's probably a better way, but I can't see shit at nighttime. Um, and so I I came up to the right side wall and I ran all the way over because if I come from that side, I do the same exact thing except I'll snipe. Yeah. The first guy from the the wall, like the close wall. Yep. Um it's same exact pattern after that. I yeah. went all the way up. Um as I was going, you know how there's like a break in the wall with like a connex mm -hmm. and some barbed wire? So I at right before I got there, I'm getting like hit with fucking 308 rounds. I am like lost both my legs, my stomach, both my arms. So I'm in the connex, like healing, healing, and the dude's just on the right on the other side, like on the street, and I'm just like trying to pop rounds through there to yep. you know hold him, hold him back, and then all of a sudden I hear gunshots coming from across the street, like in the woods. So the guy ends up falling back into the woods, and about two minutes later, I'm like, fix my arm, fix yeah. my arm, fix my legs, but it was my stomach was left, and I started coughing. I'm like, fuck, 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 like they're gonna come. Yep. And all of a sudden I hear. Pop, 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 like suppressed uh, SR-25 shots, and I hear a guy across the way die. And I was like, oh, okay, so there's somebody else. So I'm like healing, healing. I'm like, all right. And I hear him go prone, start looting the other guy, and then I hear, blink, from another SR-25 all the way on the rocks, like way back to the left. And I hear the other guy die. So then I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm like peeking out, and I see, I didn't even notice because the silhouette was so large. And I had um, the whatever the new like red scope is. What the fuck's it oh, called? Oh, the vortex. Yeah. Yeah. The the yeah the razor uh, vortex razor. So it was like a six X, and I'm like scanning along the 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 mountains, and I see what I thought was a tree, and I realize I'm looking at the ankles of a PMC. He's just standing up at the top. So I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and he was firing M62 rounds at the the group of rogues just yep. in the middle, and I just go, blink, and there was the most kitted RSASs, SR25s. Oh. They all had they all had um, quad nods, quad nods, and fleers. Oh my god! And then one of the guys had the huge backpack, and he had an MDR with a fleer. So I was like, oh, Dude, I haven't used thermals. The I haven't seen thermals yeah. at all. Um, so I just. Grabbed all their shit and went uh went past the shoreline. Bro. It was like huh. that's sick. See, I and I like, yeah, the uh I like the nighttime kits, nighttime fights, because yeah, you get like um you just get kitted. You get absolutely kitted. Yeah, so that was that was my my best raid. Um there's been a few where it was so weird. A couple of days ago I did like eight eight of them 
in a row without encountering any PMCs, and it was just like nice and smooth. Yeah. And then the next day, same servers, same time, I would get up to the rogue camp and be like, "All right, let's headshot dead." Yeah. For seven raids in a row, yeah. it was like you said on daytime. No, nighttime. Oh, nighttime. It was the same thing, just the next day. Um. And then today. And yesterday I've been doing them and it's been just fine. Yeah. It's really on, weird. I've gotten like a route down pretty, pretty sick on daytime where, yeah, it's like same thing. It depends on where you spawn because getting the extract northern road is so clutch if you're approaching from that west side because it's just yep. right there. And so like if you spawn on the south side of the map and you go up. If you're solo, like, and you just want XP, you can, yeah, take out the two at the front, the two on top of that building, the two or three on top of the other building, any of the four on the ground you can see from a distance, pop, pop, pop. If they're on the other side, just go to Northern and you can just like, I got to learn where those guys are. I, I've been nuts. too scared to see them. The four on the, on the bottom in the middle. The, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Those guys, those guys are pretty inconsistent. The ones by the helicopter. It's one of those things where it's like, there's a few places where if you just post up and look for them, if they're there take them out if not move on because yeah because if they're not right there they're not worth searching for because they're so insane i'm dude, yeah I, and, oh and i just like i've been so frustrated with the ai recently i mean obviously we've been talking about it but like i've got clips where like we talked about this before and i can't remember i could be wrong but i felt like you were not so sold on this concept of like if you ads on them they can see you like they can sense it. I uh, did. I got clips. I got to show you, bro. Literally, I had those four, the four, not the helicopter ones at the, the middle warehouse, the one closest to the train yard, the four that spawned down there. I was yep. on the mountains on the east side. I sniped all the guys off the roof and then I was sniping at one of them and they were shooting at me. And so I healed up. I went back 50 yards. I rotated uh, completely to, to the south, came up on a completely different rock. Like the it was it was it was disengage, rotate, re-engage. It was textbook. I didn't re-peek them from the same angle. I completely rotated around. I was 50 yards away from where I was, and I settled down on this guy's head. And I'm 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 a little wavy, and so I was like, okay, let me wait for it. And he just completely 180, boom, 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 black my arm, black my arm, black my leg. And I was like, what? Like d dude was in the un he was facing the other way, and I put my reticle on his head, and he went, whoo, pop, 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 pop. And with his so, yeah, red so, dot, with his freaking iron sights, he hits me from 250 meters, three out of three shots. He didn't kill me, but I was yeah. just like, I had the clip. I'm like, what the hell? I was like, I'm going to throw up. You know what I mean? It's so dumb. So I just wonder if if you had just peeked up without ADSing and waited the same amount of time, if, if he would have just you up flipped around. But that's the uh, thing, I, though, is that like uh, I you can I've you can kind of watch him run around there sometimes. Like, like sometimes if I'm scoped in on one of the roof ones, I'll see in my peripheral vision, the four down there. And I'll be like, okay, there's four down there. And they never aggro on me. Like, so you can just like watch them run around. You know what I mean? As long as but I'm, you're, but you're watching them, you're aiming. No, aiming right? on different ones. That's what I'm saying. I'm aiming on the ones up top, but I can like see those out of my peripheral vision and they'll never engage on me. But then when I, when I pull my aim down on them, they're just like, Really? Oh, I mean, it's maybe insane. maybe either something changed or yeah. you know, maybe my original observation. And, and I don't know. It's just so also like and, and I know this is what I should come to expect. But like, OK, so you know how there's we've all been in fights in Tarkov where it's like panic fights where like you can tell both PMCs didn't realize the other PMCs were there. And if you were to like break down this fight in an analysis, it's like everybody was doing everything wrong here because you're just like, everybody was panicking. It, it wasn't thought out. It was like, boom, I had one of those moments with a rogue, but <clears throat> the rogue wasn't reacting. The rogue wasn't panicking like a PMC would. And so it threw me off. So we were, me and a buddy were pushing down and those four rogues at the bottom of the, the middle warehouse normally stay together. And so we were pushing down to the backside of that, like the train yard side of that built warehouse. And my buddy died to the right. And so I was like, oh no. So like I was getting behind cover and in my head, I was like, okay, they're all over there. And I'm looking that way, and then I hear dun 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 behind me, and I whip around and I see a rogue running at me. One of them had broken away and wrapped around the other side of the building, and he was running directly at me. And I was like, ah, I was like, dun, 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 dun. 
with my UMP and I hit him twice and he just kept running. And then I like snapped to him again. I was like, I hit him three more times and he literally never broke his stride. He ran, he kissed me on the cheek, ran right by me. And at this point I run out of ammo because I'm panicking. I'm panic spraying. I'm like, ah, just, he gives me a kiss on the cheek, runs by. And I was like, what? And I reload. And in the middle of my reload animation, which you can't cancel quickly, he he stops, crouches, turns around and one taps me. And I was like, Dude, I have the same exact clip. It was in the audio video as like B-roll. Yeah, and where it, I was over by the the big circular like hole in the ground, and I yes. <laughs> I went prone, started laying in, and all of a sudden the dude just runs by me as I'm prone. Yeah. I'm like, and you can like <laughs> you can shoot them, and it was so frustrating because like if it had been a PMC. I would have panicked and then I would have shot at him and he would have panicked and I would have kept shooting. I would have shot my whole mag. But be, every time, every time I hit a shot on the rogue, I thought he was going to stop and fight me. He just kept running. And because he just kept running, which was the, which would be have been the most unexpected thing. Like if you were playing with a player or player scav, the last thing somebody would do is just keep their stride, run out their stamina bar, right? Like, so because of that, I kept like panic spraying and then it just, I ran out of ammo. And you're it, like ready for him to turn like yes. 180. So you're like, why and so is I'm he always still trailing running? behind him because I hit him once and then I'd wait, but he kept going. And then, yeah. and so I'm out of ammo and then I reload. And I was just like, this, it's, it's so brutal because you have to learn how to play the game two different ways. You have to learn how you'd fight a player and how you would fight this like stupid, weird <laughs> AI. Yeah, so I, I finally just uh, accepted the cheese. The cheese, yep. Um, because there's just, I mean, there's just no way. I mean, that's why I made the AI video. There's no way to play against no. them. Like, nobody, I don't care if, you know, you're Shroud, you're, I don't care who you are. No. You are not going to out-aim and out-shoot them. Nope. In a one-on-one battle, you know? Yeah. They're, they're not limited by. Yeah. And you'd never be able to, like, you would just never know... Like if you were new to the game, if you were like, re- yeah, if you, if you were like really good at video games but new to the game, you would just you would never figure out how to kill them that way. You know what I mean? Like you would just keep going in to try and fight them like people, and you would just die and die and die. Like and you just have to see people just do the right side peaks only, the little leans. And people are my and sometimes people come in and they're like, yeah, dude, once they fix that lean thing, you're not gonna be able to do this. It's like. Once they fix the AI, I won't have to do this, right? Yeah. It's like it's like don't take away the only way to kill them because it's cheese. It's like fix the stupid AI. You know what I mean? Yeah, like no, that's you know that they're not gonna though. They're gonna fix the cheese. And oh yeah, for sure, it, yeah. for sure, for sure. And then everyone will complain that the rogues are broken, and it's and they're the people that didn't understand they were broken on day one. You know what I mean? They're not now broken because of the cheese fix. They're always they, didn't, they don't realize what they're doing is cheesing. They just yeah. they see it as like it's the, the, way. the winning strategy. Yeah. Um, and there's yeah. so much potential, right? Like if you ever walk around there in an offline raid, you're like the ambiance in this little thing is so sick. Like if there's so much potential, if there was some of those like smart splinter cell blacklist if if they would split in groups of two if they would flank yeah. if they would take cover like you you know it's it's a flow chart like you play i played with like rengar the other day and it's a flow chart like he's like i'm gonna shoot this guy in the head if those guys don't go here they'll go here and if they're not here the only other place they could be is here and it's like i mean he could he could he could run up and drop a stem on the ground where they're going to be and they'd stand on the stem it's that precise it's a flow chart you know what i mean we could, re- we could write the code yeah. just from their behavior yeah for sure you know what i mean i mean you could x yeah. marks the spot like pin where they're going to be and there's so much potential in that area for them to move around there's so much cover to take that nobody takes you know what i mean like it could be great but it's the only way to do it is cheese you know what i mean so but it is a good xp it is a good XP farm, you know what I mean? If you just go on with an SR-25 long range, either day or night, and you can pick up anywhere between like six six plus and get to an extract, you can do it efficiently. There's insane amounts of loot over there. There's like 12, yeah, see, I 12 don't really, Bitcoin I, spawns around that first warehouse, the west one on the shore. There's like 12 Bitcoin spawns around that house. Around I, that only know of, I only know of two on the outside in those boxes and then i think there's one by like the, under the stairs yeah to the left where there's like a bed yeah although i haven't found the best i found was my fucking guitar pick and so fuck me oh, i found so many bitcoin there that this um, way yeah everybody's desmond and um 
and Sonic and all those guys were like, you find good shit there. I'm like, there's never anything there. There's always pliers and like. I find Bitcoin trash. there on a, as my scav all the time. Oh God, well I can't, I can't scav. Um, but one of the one of the other things that I found, I mean, there's there's two two kind of alternatives. If you show up to to Lighthouse and someone's beat you there because they had the close spawn, you like are posted up like and the gunner's empty and you're like are they gonna run to the yep. gun you know because if you aggro them they'll get off the gun they'll run in a fucking circle 30 they seconds later run back gun. to the gun but i'm like oh there's nothing there you know there's nothing there oh there's nothing there and then all of a sudden i hear like ding 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 and someone fighting like the last the last sniper and it's like there's just bodies that have all been yep. looted and i'm like well now i just exfil like a 1200 xp because i'm not gonna I'm not going to bother looting. Um, I just don't care enough. Yeah. Especially if you're there um, to XP. If you're there to get XP and there's nothing left to kill, the, the PMC that killed all of them is going to be leaving too. So it's like, what are, yeah, what are you going to do? There's nothing left in the raid really but to loot. But if you're not there for loot, if you're there for XP, there's nothing really to do. Yeah, I had a, a daily that was kill Rishala from 50 meters away. So which basically was like, as long as he doesn't spawn dorms, you might have a chance. Yeah. He's, I went like 15 times and he spawned dorms once. So that was, <laughs> oh no, actually he spawned old gas and I had the good spawn like up past the camp, like overlooking yeah. it. It was the one raid that I'm like, went just put a quick loadout together and it was the one raid I didn't have a DMR. I had an ump with a fucking EOTech and I'm like, no, no, like, and as soon as I go to peak, there's tracers and grenades and I'm like, there's no way. I literally went around the whole map, saw some juicy guys flanked around then they went to gas and i tried to get around um i ended up killing them and they had like an r sass and they were kitted um but they had already taken out but they had already taken out scavos um, yep. but the one raid that i was able to kill two or three pmcs and kill scav boss and his guards i got twenty one thousand xp yeah so like that's that was way more efficient time wise yeah. than lighthouse um it's just not as consistent yeah, you know exactly. what I mean. You just you know every time you spawn into a lighthouse, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen rogues every lighthouse. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just I need like, to I need to learn ways to get the other ones because I only get two, four, six, ten. Yeah. There's, I don't kill the ones in the middle and I don't kill the ones on the right. If, I just I can look around but I don't see anything. If you go daytime on the east side mountains, there are spots up there you can get every single one on the entire map. All 16. Oh, oh you know what I might do? It's, I might just try to do that with a the thermal now that yeah, I got a bunch of flares. It's brutal. Like they can they can shoot back at you, you know what I mean? You kind of have to do it and you have on to On nighttime I bet they don't. True. True, true, true. You kind of have to figure out their order on daytime. Like you have to take out the east side, the two on the east side building real quick cuz they're so close to you, then take out the other ones on top, then look for the the south ones and then look in the helicopter, see if they've spawned, if they're there, take those out, then try and post up for the four down below. And if you get a good raid, you can get all 16 from right there. And then if the car's up, you just whoop. Oh, dude, it's just like nuts. Dude, I've, I never take cash with me. It costs 20 something thousand. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're not, freaking karma, yeah. dude. No, I mean, not that like 20,000, the difference is yeah. 20,000 and, and 5,000. Like, 5, doesn't matter yeah. to me. But it's like I just never have cash. The last like three days, I've been taking cash with me. One time I went over to the car. And I'm like walking around like, chat, where's this fucking car you're telling me about? And they're like, yeah. oh, it's gone. Yeah. So I don't know where the car is. I, I know the general area, yeah. but I don't know what it looks like. They're like, you know, keep going. And then they <laughs> are all yelling, stop, stop, because I guess there's like a sniper. I'm just running oh. down the road. Everybody's like, no, stop. That's I'm like, what? Did I go so too far? funny, dude. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but my My scav karma is frozen, though. It's totally bugged. I've been taking the car on customs a bunch. It's It's been negative really? 8.16 forever i killed as a scav i killed um rishala a few times and then i killed um the one on reserve glue gluhar and all of those guys and it, and it said at the raid end screen end screen like minus three whatever and my karma is just negative really? eight. It's just stuck there that's very interesting 
So now there's no penalty. I've just been sca if I'm yeah. like really tilted, I'll just scav in factory and, and I'm just killing everything. Killing it's everything. Like, it's, it's the old days. I see a scav and just spray him down. That's so interesting that it's frozen there. That's super weird. <laughs> yeah. But. That's super weird. Dude, speaking of thermals, I actually forgot this quest was in the game. I just looked it up really quick. It's it's locked behind calibration, the one where you have to kill 20 PMCs from 100 meters. So nope. we're, we're both pretty close to that. But it's a quest called the Courier. And you have to stash two, um, two Reap IRs on customs. You have to... I did this last you wipe. You have to exfil? No. I did it, but okay. the, but the thing is, is you can't put the refires in your secure container anymore. Yeah, yeah So yeah. you can you can bring it one at a time if you brought it on your gun and then had an extra sight. But you have to stash two reap IRs on customs in the like fortress area, um, and that's one hundred forty thousand XP. Oh shit! And that so that and that's after the kill twenty PMC. So if I if we I have to clean up that, I need like eight more kills. That's ninety three thousand XP. And then after that, you get the courier. And I because I completed that task, the courier, I did it last wipe. Every reap IR I've come across, I've kept. So I have like four just in case I die. Oh shit! Um, okay. Yeah. So I forgot about that one. But yeah. Um, but yeah, the dailies and weeklies, like, it's funny we talked about it like last week or the other week, and I was so positive about it because I was coming off of like such like a two weeks of them being so good. And it just, yeah. it, and my, this week they've been so bad and it's like slowed down my progression so much. And it just goes back to what I was saying where like there's potential. When you get a string yeah. of good ones, like when you get three days in a row where you complete all three and you completed your weekly, that feels so sick. And it, it, and it, yeah. and it feels sick and it balances out like, yeah, I don't normally go reserve, but I had to survive five times. So I went and I survived and it was cool. There's like a balance of it pushes you around but like all this week they've been you know like killed 20 pmcs with m67s or 100 meter shots in the mall or whatever it's just like stuff i really didn't want to do and so yeah it's like it's it, they can be so brutal they can be so brutal and so like demoralizing because there's so much xp on the line and it's all this stuff that you either don't want to do or can't do Yep. But like when they're when they work, dude, they work so well. And so it's just so frustrating because like I want to I want to get in there and like tinker with the system. I want to because it's a coin flip. Yeah, because it's a coin flip. I was playing with Valiant today. I got this is like the eighth day in a row. I've got survive six labs raids as a daily and I haven't been accepting them if they're not. Um, I haven't been accepting them if I can't complete them. Yep. Um, so I had, so I hadn't accepted any of them, but Valiant was like, I, t I mentioned that I mentioned it. Like I got, he was like, what dailies are you doing? And I was like, oh, I got six arrives on labs. I was like, there's no way I'm doing that. And he was like, yo, let's go. I know he plays labs all the time. I was like, all right, let's do it, bro. I, let's do it. So I accepted it, dude, 55,000 XP for a daily, not a week. You, you got that? Yes. Or? If that, I clicked accept and the rewards were 55,000 XP, 100,000 rubles, eight VOG grenades, a fuel conditioner, a silver badge. I was like, what the so hell? Do you, do you think that not accepting them? Is now I'm wondering. I was thinking that by only, here's, here's an updated theory that I still don't think is like 30% accurate, right? I was thinking that if you, don't I was thinking if you only accept the ones you know you're going to complete like the find and transfer ones those are the easier ones I was thinking that over time I would get better rewards for those yeah but it might be that you get better rewards for the ones you don't do I don't complete the survive on x map x amount of times very often because it keeps giving me labs in reserve and I don't want to do those two and so I hadn't even accepted one for there for a while but I accepted this one and it was like it was like they were offering me you know a job I didn't want to do so they keep offering a higher amount and I didn't know uh, I don't think that's, that's necessarily the case I think it they was wouldn't just, they wouldn't program that yeah, properly. Yeah. <laughs> I, There's I, no way that it's it's more likely that because you're not accepting them, they're giving you better ones. Yeah. Yeah. So they might be harder with bigger rewards. Like lately, I've been seeing. So I have one that is um, that I mean they expire in 30 minutes. Um, but one is hand in three screwdrivers yeah. and the Tarzan rig, and yeah. it's 28,000 XP, 70,000 rubles. Then I have eliminate scavs i mean i probably should have done this six scav 16 scavs on woods more than 20 meters 
that was 32,000 XP. Yeah. Um, but I don't have anything more than 30. Yeah, my 000. my find and transfers are normally in the like 20 to 25,000 and then sometimes I get the kill quests that are like 30,000. Like to me 32,000 I'm like, yes, like that's a lot of XP for a daily. And I just accepted it and I was like, "Oh my god, 54,000 XP." You know what I mean? Like that's the same. That's half of some of these end game quests. A lot of these, you know, kill 20 PMCs from 100 meter, that gives me 93,000. My daily yeah, today was 54,000. It was nuts. So, and we Shit. did it. We went six labs in a row without dying. <laughs> it was nuts. Did you actually fight people or were they, or were they, were they dead? It was half and half. So that's why I literally, I put labs as our next note. I did. I don't go labs, but I was playing this. It was this morning. I was playing in the morning with Velian and, mm -hmm. um, we didn't have any sus encounters. We only did the six raids, right? We didn't do like 14 raids. We did six raids. We did zero sus encounters. Um, the first two or three were like really stacked with PMCs. Like the second raid we did, I killed three, he killed two, and that group killed two other people. And we got out with, you know, each of us got out with 80 kilos worth of loot. It was nuts. The last three of them were like dead. In in uh, the the very last one we did, we ran into one dude and we just befriended him. He was like, he was like, I'm just trying to find these stims, man. I've only been here like seven or eight times. He had like an alt and on. And we were like, like yeah, what stims dude, you need, man. Yeah, we were like, yeah. So we literally, Valiant has every key card. We went around, but all six raids, we looted every room, every single thing. We killed, <laughs> we weren't really there to kill raiders, but we killed a bunch of raiders. And dude, I you made know, I made so much money. The loot on that map is stupid. And he was like, "Yeah, dude." He's like, "They nerfed the loot here a lot, and it was stupid loot everywhere." I didn't realize how much loose loot is on labs. Loose Ledex spawns, loose GPU spawns. You don't even need keys anymore, really. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, um, I only know a few. I, I've been finding <laughs> my let actually. So I, I've been doing the whole like red room thing. I think I maybe have like twenty successful loots oh. of, of red key card room, and most of the time it's dog shit every now and then there'll be like a lion and then a bunch of like shit parts yeah but i did find the other day a led x um in red in red there was a led x and then i think the raid after was a gpu in there um and i just remember like as soon as i opened it and went inside i like picked up the gpu and i started to hear footsteps i'm like fuck um and i had just a ump and uh I've had a bunch of oh God. I have like uh, I created a folder that's basically like two, two different perspectives of the same fight. <laughs> yeah. Because there's been a bunch of streamers that um that I've been fighting that are all like level sixty seven fucking tracksuit, and somehow I've been winning most of them. Um, like that one, he opened up the door and was kind of doing like the fucking Chad jiggle yep. peek, like pop, pop, and I just like, just full swept out just bah, 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 just full pre-fire in the door and then i'm like well now i'm out of ammo so that i ran behind the the open steel red room door yeah to reload and then he swept around the corner and was looking in red room so then i just popped out and fucking head head tapped them but it was like i never win those when someone's yeah. rushing the corner i never win those yeah and this was like the first time i won it um but yeah i had a couple of days on on a few specific servers where dude, I'm telling you, like I've been, I've been picking two servers at a time and like, I'll stay on it until it feels shitty and then I'll switch. And I swear to God, it's like good, good, good. All of a sudden instantly it's terrible garbage. Yeah. And then it's like everybody's sus at whatever. And then I'll just switch over. And I've been going everywhere from West coast to like, you know, the East coast of EU because my ping is only 80 yeah. or 90 there. And then I'll go to Texas and then I'll go to Canada yeah. and, you know, um, yeah. And it's, it's been nuts. There's a bunch of standard edition accounts that I reported that were really sketchy, the fucking standies. standies. Um, and I <laughs> sent them friend requests. So I have like a list of all of their, their names and their levels. And it's weird how all these dudes was a dude that was level 22, another guy that was level 10, another guy that was level 14. And they're all still 22, 14 and 10. Oh, two weeks later. So I'm pretty sure that means they're banned. A few Yikes. of them changed their names so that I can't I can't find them. Like this one guy was like, fuck you, report was his name. It's like, okay, well, you know, sweet, but I can't search because yeah. you know, they changed their name. Um but yeah, Bro. I was 
The other side of that though, so Velian is like a Chad, like a Lavs Chad dude. He showed me like almost every single one of the six Lavs raids, we were in till nine minutes or less. Like we were in till the red. We were just in the whole time. The amount of times today I was like, yeah, if I got killed from here, I would report you. It was um, immense. Like it's just, it reminded me that like the people that play Lavs just play at a level that I don't play in the sense of like min maxing just every possible sight line, right? Like, like we've talked about before, like Valorant, it's like CSGO. Yes, Valorant and CSGO, their maps are like designed with every sight line in uh in mind. Like they're thinking about that when they design they, they, the maps. Yes, they come to a corner, they turn their body, and they know that if they take one step to the left, they're going to be on the two pixel headshot. Yes holding an angle yes yeah. and and escape from tarkov doesn't build their maps with that in mind right like which i prefer i prefer the more immersive like this is what it would look like but like valium was like stand like back up here and ads like like look through your voodoo what do you see and i was like i'm okay I'm by servers by you know green room right like in the server room that's next to green i'm, I'm standing right there and i was like oh yeah i was like that's red room and you can just watch it and if somebody opens the door to red room they have to when they're running in towards the red room, they're putting your their back to you. They're running in a straight line, and so from 150 meters through two windows, you can just go pop, dead. And it's like yeah. if I ran around, looked to my left, didn't see anybody, and as soon as I opened the door, I fell over dead. I'd be like, that's super sus. And there's yeah. like 14 different angles like that where it's like, oh, just jump up here and they can only see 14 pixels of you or you're 200 meters away so they'd never see you, but you yeah. can look through an AC duct, a window, you know, a pipe, and you can see right where people are going to be. They're going to unlock a door right there. And it's like... Is he using like a voodoo? Or yeah. Oh, like yeah. A, yeah. Voodoo's. Oh, yeah. Everybody that runs labs runs voodoo's. And it's just like... And it's like... I mean, it's like, wow. It's like, this is... Like, I... I believe that there are cheaters, obviously. I believe it. I am not saying, but it just, I was like, I bet 50 to 75% of the accusations on labs are completely false. Like, if you main this map, if you play it like these people play it, which isn't how I prefer to play it, but it's not cheating. And it's not even, it's not even, um, it's not even exploiting. You're not you're not like leaning to a way where everything despawns. You're literally just yeah. standing there looking through a window, but it's just like you can get shot at from everywhere on labs at any time. And so many times people are like calling cheats because you know they just looked that way or there's no way. It's like, bro, these guys are playing on another level. They're playing a different game than I am when I'm crabbing through labs looking for my three stims. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. Yeah. So to me, I, I'm I'm almost never reporting someone if they just shoot me and I don't see them, yeah. or if you know, like, just because you, but I many play, other people, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. Um, although I have had, it, to, to me, what's sketchy is when people have knowledge mm -hmm. that, and I'm well aware of all of the things, the fucking face shield breathing bug, how loud it is when you reload, yeah. turning on lasers, like all of those things. But like. You know, I've had a lot that are blatant. Yeah. Um, like under Red Room, there's the 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 room with the, the jacket and the safe. Um, there was a guy like standing right on the safe. And I ran in with an MDR, sprayed him down, killed him before he fired a shot. Um, and then I looted him. And then I, I hear footsteps over in the wood middle kind of area, not near the lobby, but like um between those two stairs yeah, like under yeah, yeah. under the cafe that kind of area and then all of a sudden i see bullets hitting the filing cabinet fucking hit me i mean it was it was the first time i saw a ricochet cheater that and they were just shooting me through the wall that's like, crazy when you're in there and the doors are shut and you're seeing fucking tracers off the wall hitting yeah. you like and that was the guy whose name was fuck your report. And it's like, okay, you're clearly cheating. Yeah. Um, another one was I got a viewer kit from Swabo and you know, he went with the whole, here's three fucking key cards, <laughs> you know, here's, you know, a Bitcoin or two or whatever. 
so we spawned out like outside on what's the map with Kiba and Killa interchange and interchange. <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> on interchange, we spawn like outside. Yeah, I turn. I hit him in the head, and all of a sudden, <laughs> bullets are flying over. So I'm like looting his backpack. Like Swabble will tell you, I'm looting his backpack, and it's like clink, clink. And I'm like clicking and dragging. Bro, no way. I'm getting completely peppered every step of the way. And there's like hills and trees and shit. Yep. Completely peppered all the way into the garage. When you come into the garage, he heard shots before he died, and I literally turned and hatcheted him <laughs> once. Um, Literally, so I'm running to the fucking garage, and when you walk in, there's like 20 Connexes, there's trucks, yeah. there's everything, and I ran to like the fourth Connex around the corner in behind it, and I just hear thud, 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 and the guy's flashlight on, yeah. full sweet, and, and I literally, like... I pointed my fucking gun, and I went, bah, 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 and he fucking walked right into my bullets, and then I hear more footsteps, and then his buddy came from behind because there were two of them and fucking slaughtered me but i've been i've been wrecking people who i'm pretty sure are cheaters pre-firing is the only fucking it's way it's the only way they yeah. will hunt you down you just need to pre-fire and hope they walk into it half the time you're gonna go bah, 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 click and then they're just gonna peek but dude you know if they've got walls or radar or even if they have an aim bot it's not you know, Dude. if they just walk into your bullet, <laughs> my my buddy sent me a clip. He's on the third story of dorms. And, you know, if you're on the third, story, like in one of those rooms. So, like, you can look out the window and you see two story dorms out there. Yep. He was Although in there. You can't see through the windows for shit. No, but he was in one of those rooms and he was like heavy breathing. So he was trying to get stamina and walking as if there was a floor. Some guy on the outside of the window just walks up. He's floating 15 feet in the air, just casually. Boom, 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 boom. And like the dude, he's like there and he like snaps because he's got a shotgun and then dies. I mean, the dude is just walking on thin air out. <laughs> out like You saw the clip? Yes, I have the clip. Yeah. Oh, my. I, I need that. I clip. can send it to you. But like he was like trying to get some stamina and you just see the dude walk out the window. And it's like out of the window on the third floor. We're not talking by the balcony like where you can go out. We're talking nothing's underneath you bro oh my god oh dude. yeah I'm, uh, I, I'm considering i'm almost done with history of tarkov episode four um but i'm considering doing it, it's probably not going to be possible to do what i want to do um just because of the nature of the topic but i'm considering the next getting tarkov video could be about cheaters mm. trying to get the full perspective yeah um to explain because there's so many people that are asking like why can't they just detect this like what's so hard so oh. i'd be talking about like it, but the problem is is that i'll never get information directly from battle eye i'll never get yeah. information from nikita um that would i be do have a clips of the one guy the streamer whose name i'll never mention yeah who doesn't play the game anymore he plays another game and he played another game for years not not even a shooter like a fucking like mmo kind of yeah. game um, and I have all of the, I've edited it all together where I had to black out the face cam. Every time he talks, I mute it and I put subtitles and I have that all. And you can see all the sketchy shit, but it's like subtle. I mean, he played yeah. full time for four months with radar, constantly looking at his chat and then looking to the, uh, another <laughs> the other side, he'd, he'd be shift Wing doing this. While he was running up, like, what are you looking at, dude? Like, what the, when his chat is clearly on one side, and it was just like, <laughs> and for four months, he, str and nobody questioned anything, ever. Dude. You know, and he would just randomly, he'd have player scavs walking by him, and then, you know, we'd be shooting at players, and then randomly he'd be like, uh, no, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move away, I'm gonna, you know, whatever, and he'd turn his back and run, and then all of a sudden he'd aim down sights from the, lobby of fucking the mall all the way across the street where oh, like the yeah. scav x villas and just aim down sights and start shooting at a player scav it's like what the fuck chases them for 20 minutes and then oh turns out he's got a fucking gpu in his back yep 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 bro you know and, the, and it's, it the, was what's really what's really the most interesting part of that though is how often him and his partners like his duo partners and stuff they would talk about cheats so often and he would talk shit 
about fucking scumbags and yeah they do this and i hear that they do this and yeah you know i don't know all this stuff and there's rumors of whatever and it's like you fucking piece of shit like what a oh my god what a Um, dick the best part was so he went kind of easy talking about like you know rumors and things he heard or whatever um and but his teammate went hard and was like yeah dude they're fucking clowns like all this stuff and i'm and this is after I know they've been banned and they've admitted to me that they were cheating. Um, and I was just like looking at his face while he's, you know, on all the VODs that don't no longer exist because I recorded them all and they yep. were deleted. But I'm like looking at his face while he's sitting there and it's just no reaction whatsoever. That's like insane. That's insane, bro. <laughs> it's funny to see. Yeah. Like to do that. And then you've got like the other side, the, the, that friendly guy video where like at the end he was just like, "Bro, are you cheating?" He's like, "Yeah, dude, I'm cheating." <laughs> like he doesn't even care. And then you got people who are trying to like put on this facade, like everybody that cheats sucks, dude. It's so that video would be a click farm, like you know what I mean? Like you could name it some, you know, the final word on cheating in Tarkov. Like, oh, you would get, click- but the comment section would be atrocious. You would just have to like not read any of it. It would be so bad. I mean, honestly, would, I would. Be, you would get so I many would, views, though. I would be afraid that. Honestly, I'd be kind of afraid that BSG might want yeah. me to take it down. Yeah. Um. You know, not because not because the, I, not because they're guilty of anything. No, correct. But because, I, I, I've, the vibe I've gotten from them in the past, um, and with my whole cheater interview thing that I did before, um, did I ever tell you about that? Hmm. Yeah, how they basically that. asked me to take it down because they were like, essentially as if it was advertising, you know, yeah. calling attention to it. And it was like, so out of professional courtesy, I took it down, even though I had three parts and they were all at 100,000 views. And it was like, actually fucking decent money. Yeah. Um, And I was the only fucking person who made video a video like this where I was interviewing a cheat developer who was giving a bunch of information. I was critical while also... Yeah. asking technical questions like it was it was out of all of the interviews it was the best one for sure all of the other ones were a bunch of schmucks interviewing a bunch of kids who were cheaters yeah. that were all pretending like they were all hacker men yep um and those all stayed up and they all get a bajillion views and it's like uh, the good guy finishes yep. last once again for you sure. know for um, sure for sure and it so, and, and yeah. i get it like as I, I get it from you from the content creation perspective and i watched the ones that you had up and they were really good but i also like in some way kind of get it on the other end too and it's kind of like what we talked about the other day if people can come away from your audio video and then come into my chat and argue with me thinking they understand steam audio when they don't then then the same uh, right like then people can watch that video and and take a completely wrong thing away from it and think that either BSG is not doing enough or not doing anything or they can it might inspire them to go and it's one of those things where it's like it's crazy it's crazy so I so I I get that but it would be it would be interesting yeah I have to say the the last thing on this before uh, we move on to the whatever the next thing is is that the 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 steam audio video has been it the most not necessarily view wise, although it, it it did better than I expected. Yeah, I think it was at like sixty or seventy thousand views, which well. I didn't expect for yeah. a fucking three hour video. Dude, <laughs> uh, eighty eighty two thousand views. Um, that's insane. But um, it has been the most successful in terms of what my goal is getting the message across. Yes. Um. Yeah. Because people come in and they, and these days they come in and they don't. It's never anything negative. They just ask me a question and I point them to the video, and then that's it. It's no more the fucking banging my head against the wall, impossible bullshit. Um, but I have had, dude, literally probably 30 people a day, every day for the last two weeks saying, oh my God, you've you made the game. It's a different game now. Yeah. Because they're sitting there playing with fucking understand. Sonic, whatever. Yeah. You know, so... I'm I'm just so fucking glad yeah. that so many people are like I can play the game now. That was uh, arguably the more impactful thing than defining what Steam Audio was was telling people to to just just everybody go make sure you have literally nothing turned on. 
Yep. Like, because I've had people come into my chat too and be like, bro, I turned off my 7.1 or my Sonic, Windows Sonic. And I'm like, yeah, dude, like, <laughs> don't, don't turn any of that on. Uh, yeah, so that for sure. For sure, for sure. The the title of the video is so good, by the way. The the curse of Tarkov Adler and other lies we tell ourselves because <laughs> it's 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 clickbait in the first half, and it's a dig at you in the second half, and it's beautiful. It's the, the beautiful. other half. The people half of the people think that like. They think that they're they're the ones that <laughs> yeah. are like, oh, I'm lying to myself. And then the other half are like, I want to see what everybody's yes, wrong about. Dude. And then they end up being like, oh fuck. <laughs> dude, it's that was a that was a great title. That was a great title. Oh uh, yeah. That. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Dude, yeah, the YouTube game is is definitely weird, but I'm glad that that video is taken off because it's dope. And so have you noticed, like, I didn't write this down, but from just like a YouTube standpoint, like the, the YouTube meta shifts a lot. You know what I mean? Like, like what gets views Tarkov related on YouTube, like, like, uh, some of your most prof, uh, some of your most viewed videos are like the thick case loot, you know, 15 million rubles in my bag or like cursed guns. Like, I feel like that stuff doesn't do as well anymore. It's always like, it's always just PVP, min maxing PVP, any sort of PVP guide is going to do well. Any sort of like PVP really? video from a PVP person is going to do really well. Um, maybe I'm just not plugged in. Cause I see the yeah. opposite. I see when it like, I mean, I part of it depends on like the channel too. Because when I put together, yeah, um, like highlights, you know, it's it's you know not like the most epic shit. Although the no, you know, yeah, it's most of those frag movies, it's like you want to talk about fucking JPEG compression. They're all like dark as hell and pixely, yeah, and you know, the, for sure. But um, but yeah, I don't know. I I find that like I get you know six thousand, seven thousand views on a highlight video, um. And then when I do any of the the science videos that are like on controversial shit, tend to do better. Yeah. Than than the stuff that's just informational, like the one I did on you know why the grass looks shitty. Um, yeah. But yeah, dude, I just I don't know. I, I I see all of the videos that do well. I mean, it's either General Sam that gets a million. Well, views. of course, that's going to be channel dependent, right? General Sam could do anything, and yeah. it's going to get a million views. Um. And then you would think that that would translate the audience into there's really only like two channels that get a million views. I mean, even Pestily stuff doesn't yeah. doesn't do like nuts in terms yeah. of like views, um, you know, like 45,000, 60,000, 54,000, 30,000, 38,000. Yeah. Um, I mean, granted, it's every single day, yeah. which, you know, helps. But it's like, you know, and he's also got 626,000 Used to, I, fucking YouTube, dude. Now that you mention it, like I've noticed so many channels have the weirdest ratios. Yeah. Like there's there's a um who is it? Um he's the fucking magician, the Canadian magician. Um oh god, I'll find him. But he's got like four million views. Sorry, four million subscribers. And lately, his um his videos get like thirty. Chris Ramsey, yeah, yeah, Chris Ramsey, um, like unbelievable fucking quality videos yeah. and whatever. He's got six million subscribers, and like his his view uh, his videos, they were when I found out about him, he was like trending forever, getting mad views, yeah. and then now it's like hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Yeah, he's got fucking. Six million subscribers. Yeah, that's crazy. Dude, it's weird. Um, Dude, YouTube, like, people really don't understand the YouTube algorithm. People think if you have a lot of subs, you get a lot of views. And there are tons of channels, bro. There are tons of channels that, you know, are, they're almost like time machines. It was like, oh, yeah, I remember watching that guy when X thing was popular and that person never adapted from X thing and they're still doing yeah. X thing. And it's like they've got five million subs. If you sort by most popular, they've got videos, you know, three million, three million, three million, three million. It's like, yo, you were crushing. And their 50 most recent videos are like 50K or below. Like people truly think they truly think that subs equals views. 
and it is not. YouTube is all about attention and audience retention and keeping people on the platform. And if you can't do that, some people kind of have it. So like a General Sam, his audience, they want to watch him. They do not want to watch yeah. Tarkov. They don't want to watch Hunt Showdown. They want to watch the first 10 minutes of his video is always him in some green screen shenanigan thing talking. To him, and that's why you watch. But if you're known for a thing and you can't adapt your thing, and that's why you can get somebody with 500, 5 million subs, make a video with 50,000 views. And that's why my buddy, my personal buddy, his first YouTube video he ever put out got 800,000 views because YouTube does not care about your subscriber count. And they put no additional weight on you because of that it's what's trending that your buddy it. do more videos because i would yes. guess that if he did more they'd probably be like 30 000, 40 000 or less you're gonna um, you're gonna be pissed you're oh gonna be, did, you're did, gonna be so pissed dude does he literally have millions my man of has on all of his? my man has one two three four five six seven eight nine total videos okay 891,000, 376,000, 301,000, 163,000, 196,000, 130,000, 244,000, and then he just posted one five days ago, 56,000. It crushing. Dude, crushing. There are some some things I just don't understand too because like we were talking about that Chris Ramsey guy, you know, he's getting like 10% of his subs is, yeah. he's getting in and then you look at General Sam and he's got 1.3 million subs basically and his videos are a million a million, 1.4 million, yeah. half a million, half a million, half a million. So like, you know, we're talking 50 to 100% of your subs. Yeah. And then you look at H Bomber guy. Oh yeah. Nine, 980,000 subs. Bruh. Two, and he's posted within the last two years, <clears throat> he's posted six videos. Yep. 5.6 million views, 4 million views, 5.6 million, 2.7 million, 4.2 million. And then the one he just posted about... Deus Ex, that's three and a half hours long, two million views from two weeks ago. Dude. How? Like, why? He's dude. getting two to six times his subscriber. Yeah. Like, I just don't it's, get dude, it. Dude, it's, it's retention. It's retention. It's retention. It's audience retention. That is literally all YouTube is looking at. And it's so interesting, too, because you look at a guy like H Bomber guy, like, his thumbnails are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like they're so bad, you know what I mean? They're like, not good. Like the vaccines one is a good thumbnail, but like they're the fucking they're, Fallout one, the R W B Y. They're bad. They're bad. But it's like his content's great. His dude, content. I, his content is S tier. It's so I have to good. Wait, I every like, dude. I literally Patreon. I I became a Patreon supporter <laughs> because you can get an early viewing of yeah. his videos. It's something about like with it's interesting because like with guys like that, it's definitely something about like the what he's known for and the nicheness of what he's talking about. Like sometimes more niche is more better and sometimes more niche is really bad. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Like sometimes like, you know how like you know how those memes like, you know how a meme will float around and it'll be like everybody you know is posting this meme to Facebook. And the first time you saw the meme, you laughed really hard because you were like, oh, I thought that was like a only me experience. Like, I didn't know other people. And everybody, that's kind of like an H-Bomber guy video where like, I never played Deus Ex ever, but I watched an hour and a half of that video because I was just like, oh, I remember Deus Ex. Like, sometimes- I he, never played it, never saw any of yeah, it. And I watched three and a half sometimes hours. Sometimes he just hits a niche that's so niche that everybody goes, no way somebody made a video about Boom. And because his content is so good, he gets you with the retention. You'll watch an hour of it. And when YouTube sees you're watching an hour of something, they blow it up on the home page. So there's sometimes when you do a niche something, nobody cares because it's too niche. But H Bomber Guy does a weirdly good way of striking the, the right amount of niche. And then... And then boom. And then because the content is funny, because it's so good, you watch it. Like that is everything. From everything I've learned, I've watched Mr. Beast interviews. I've watched tons of like audience retention is literal gold to YouTube. But here's the thing. When it, retention, you mean like watch time of the video. And like if they watch a minute of it and then leave. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So, so but here's the thing. Your subscriber numbers are the most important part of that because that's the top of the funnel. So yeah, one of the things, yeah. so I, my speed running videos, one of the things was I loved watching Summoning Salt 
and a few other people that like he's got 1.3 million views yeah. and have you ever watched summoning salt before a little bit because you mentioned it back when we were doing some of this stuff yeah so he did like the fucking mario kart wii yeah like speed run shortcut thing yeah three million views um super mario bros like the human limit it's basically like taking every last frame off of yeah. the record five million views the history of super mario 64 3.7 million so like i was kind of inspired by that and wanted to when i did my speed running stuff i made content that i think is in some ways better than that yeah and that it's not just a dry history yeah. it's a it's it has history but then it's also got montages and fail -tages and yeah. it's got technical stuff in, in other videos that people like and but here's the thing it was like your viewers click off of it all of your the, the, so they serve it to your yes, subscribers yes your subscribers watch 30 seconds and go what the fuck so is this and they click away you're known for tarkov you're not known for this other stuff so they click away and then the youtube algorithm goes oh no oh no dude i'm telling you okay i actually had this conversation with a buddy of mine the other day you should start a sec a separate youtube channel okay it should not include the word veritas at all and you should you should post some of your video essays there I really want to know if they blow up. You should private them. The ones that like the, you you retweeted your Mario one because you were like heartbroken, and I and I got yeah. that. You should private that on your main channel. You should take that off your main channel, and it should just be like some just video games suck. That's the name of your YouTube channel or something. Just like and just post that, dude. Don't change the thumbnail. Don't change anything. Just post it because you have a clean slate. It's who's it going to show it to? only people that don't know you for Tarkov. Oh, yeah. Okay. And if Maybe they I'll like it, and if they... Dude, think about how different that is. You know what I mean? Like, if if now the algorithm is only going to be serving that video to people that relate to your keywords, the title, the tags, and the description, and not, those things are Mario speed running. So that means your base right there, your base audience that YouTube's going to show it to is or are at least going to be somehow adjacent to speed running, Mario, that kind of stuff. And then if you start with a better like watch time retention, more people are clicking, like I really wonder, like I don't know. I don't know any of this, but I wonder if because yeah. you were known for Tarkov, it killed those videos. And I think Well, I made I made my second channel for music. Yeah. And it got meh. Yes, I mean, I'm still, I'm but, still gonna do more. But um, covers aren't as clicky as this kind of stuff is. Like you said, like the your video yeah. essays are, in my opinion, your your pride and joy content. Like it's so your video essays are so good. The speed running ones were so good. All your Tarkov ones have been so good. Like I really, I really would love to see. So I mean, if it maybe, just like. <laughs> So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it with the speed running yes, stuff. I, yeah, and not the Tarkov stuff for because, now. Yes, yes, because your Tarkov stuff works really well on your Tarkov related channel, uh, even though it's yeah. different in in style. You know what I mean? It's not a highlight. It's definitely a more long form thing. But like that does better than anything. Yeah, like I'm almost I almost want to stop doing highlights. Yeah, and do more science and video essays. Tarkov do related. one of those <laughs> one of those things every three months because I worry if I don't upload, I'm going to get fucked. And then you see someone like H Bomber guy yes, that uploads once sick. every seven months yes. and he gets a bajillion views. Sure. So maybe I, I, I'm i considering stopping doing hi maybe making like a Veritas highlights channel. And yeah. Tossing my fucking highlights there. Yeah. But um, I don't watch fucking five YouTube channels. No, I would do. I would say try this other thing, um, because because it's an opportunity to also start as an H bomber guy. Like H bomber guy never makes more than two videos on the same subject, right? Like you know what I mean. So you can yeah. do a few speed running ones, and then if anything else ever pops in your head that you like get passionate about, like you know sim racing or VR or any of this other stuff. You can, you know, like you could do a video essay on like the the therapeutic, you know, consequences of power washing simulator. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah. I, and I truly believe that would weirdly blow up because like like a video essay on power washing simulator would either I'm I'm I would put money down. It would either get seven views or a million views 
because that's one of those things. Everybody loves the satisfying power washing thing. Should I not like show my face? Like people will recognize my. No, I can't undo that yeah. on the Mario videos. You but, could like... try. Like you could, if you made a another one, you could try. But I doubt. Once again, because what you're hoping here is that like, because Tarkov, we see Tarkov as huge because it's our whole life. But like, you know, yeah. you know, freaking, there's like six billion hours of YouTube content is uploaded every hour or something like that. The stats are nuts. Like what you're hoping is that you tap into a whole nother thing here that just wouldn't know you from anyone. You know what I mean? So all the comments are going to be, you fucking stole this from Veritas. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you know? that's fine. They're comments. You know what I mean? They're comments. Oh, yeah. And and then people like your Patreon, your subs, your Twitch chat, they would go over there and hit you with an initial boom. You know what I mean? Like if you built this up, if you were like, yo, I'm thinking about doing this and you like put it out to everybody, it's happening at this time. You did a premiere live and you're like, yo, can we get this to four or 500 likes within the first 24 hours just to see I would worry that it would then Ooh, pigeonhole me yeah. and it's going to say, oh, no, people who also right. like Tarkov you're also right. like, I don't want to poison the well. You're right. Do the opposite. I, I completely 180 on that. Don't tell anybody. Just post it. I want to see what YouTube does with it. I need to come up with a new name. There's nothing now. to lose, right? There's nothing to lose. If if you're, you know, what is the speed running uh, Veritas speed runner? That first one, not, yeah, 11 months ago. 23,000 views. You're probably that was getting... the one I also paid yes. hundreds of dollars <laughs> yeah, to yeah. fucking advertise. You're probably getting like 100 views or less on that a day on your channel. You are not risking anything. No. Anything by privating all of them. You'd have to private all of them because if they found you on your other channel and then somehow got recommended your Veritas one, that would mess with the, uh, like the second video in the series. But I wonder, I, I would probably get like the, this person's uploaded a video that's 100% because there is a bunch of people that are yeah. usually foreign countries that just rip off my shit yeah. completely. 100% of the video, yeah, they it's... put their fucking Fiverr, yep. you know, whatever. And then yep. it's like, you see Veritas TV is my fucking the gamer tag, you know. But like, um, dude, the fact, like the fact that your first one's over an hour long, I genuinely think is a benefit. Like... Oh, I'm so into this. I I really hope you do it. I really think I really no, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking do this tomorrow. It would be I, it would I, just be it would be so interesting because like if nothing else, it would just be like a fascinating experiment in the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, I need to fucking see if I still have those like the source videos. Dude. I I delete a lot yeah. of them just because oh, I yeah. need fucking hard drive. I they might be on my on my um my fucking long term storage. And like, but. take this opportunity to like optimize th the f out of like title and uh, like tags, description. Tags don't do shit. Tags, do, yeah, but like, but you, YouTube literally says tags are not used in search. I they're still used, think they they're index used to, them. They're used to disambiguate spelling things. Like if people spell it like Trakov instead of Tarkov, like that's what according to YouTube. They have like an article on their help thing. That's mm. what it's used to like link Tarkov and EFT as one thing. Yeah. To, like they're not they're not used in search according to YouTube. Either way, optimize the description. You know what I mean? Like optimize the title. Like learning to speed run Ocarina of Time. Like if there's there's something in there that's that is I see, pressure. I, I, I kind of like that thumbnail. I think the thumbnail's great. Yeah. I think the thumbnail is great. The the, the, the title is too the, dry. Yeah, the thumbnail, uh, the thumbnail provides some amount of um, some Search. amount. Go go with me here, but some amount of like suspense and pressure. Not a speedrunner. That is not who you are. It's red. It's over your eyes. There's a little bit of like uh, that. Lo that looks like adjacent to a uh, thumbnail of a Netflix true crime documentary. It's it evokes that emotion. But yeah. learning to speed run, so like match that emotion. Learning to speed run Ocarina of Time, you know what I mean, in 60 seconds, like that's not real, but like some some sort of Be become, pressure element. A speed runner or whatever. Yeah, like, forcing I, I think, myself to become a speed run, like some like a pressure element that matches that thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I I mean, we could go on all day. I I don't know. Freaking titles are one of those things. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. Um, dude, hell I'll yeah. Look at, I'll look at what else is out there, but I I love all of the thumbnails. They're great. I really um, do think they're good. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like the speedrun secret, that's a great one. The Mario with the speedrun over the eyes. Like, I think your thumbnails are, are on. I think they're good. Dude, that would be so interesting. That would be so interesting. <laughs> I, 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 I should just do what my old uh, name in Tarkov was Satire V because oh. it's Veritas backwards. <laughs> that's great, bro. That's with great. Satire yeah, V, like that's great. I think that's great because, like, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's H Bomber Guy. What does that mean? Who knows? Satire V? I don't know. Like, it's satire, but, like, there's some connection yeah. to the Veritas thing. I think that's great because think about this. Like once again, there's as with anything on YouTube, there's a fifty percent chance you put you take those videos down, you post them, and six weeks later they have thirty seven views. Right? Who knows? Yeah, and then it's like just delete the fucking account. But if it takes off, think about the freedom that would bring you as a content creator. Like let's Dude, say I, this I, I, first I, video, a video essay I want to do about fucking Diablo two yes. and how. It was the greatest game you were never meant to play. Yes. Dude, oh, my God. I would watch that video because I never played any of the Diablo games. Like, yeah. let's say this video gets a few hundred thousand views over the course of the next month. Think about, like, what that unlocks for you, knowing that, like, you can keep your Tarkov content. You can make those videos when you need to. You can put the highlights. You've got a channel, an established one. But now you have this outlet for this thing, you know what I mean, that you can do. Like, I remember when Tarkov was feeling really rough for you. This was such a creative outlet to speed yeah. run, to do this on stream, the YouTube, whatever. And it just like the algo crushed your dreams because exactly that the audience retention was not there. So it would just be such a fascinating experiment because yep. video essays are so in right now, dude. They're so in on the algorithm. They're weirdly like. You know, H Bomber guy's got an ins much better audience retention strategy on his three hour video on Deus Ex than I do on my eight minute Tarkov video. You know what I mean? That's highlights. It's crazy. It's crazy. It, it titles and thumbnails too, man, are like insane. Like I'm noticing that like I did a video like I don't spend enough time on my thumbnails. I'm so often down to the wire and it's cause I'm, I'm so terrible. I, I try to post four to five YouTube videos a week and mm -hmm. I wake up most of the time and I'm like, what video am I going to make today? So I think of a video, I roughly script out the video, I record the video, I edit the video, I upload the video and I make the thumbnail all by 3.30 PM because that's when I go and hang out with my family for a few hours before I stream. And so I'm so often just like right down to the wire, like making a thumbnail, just like, ah, whatever. And I posted a highlight video the other day and I didn't really like the thumbnail and I, I didn't think the title was very catchy, but it was a highlight video my brother edited and I thought it was so funny. And the comments were like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Like people time stamping and being like, dude, this was so funny. And it got like 8,000 views. And I, and I, and, and that was Isn't one of, that the worst feeling, yes. dude? And that was one of those moments where I knew that the I knew that in that moment why that video failed was the title and thumbnail. Like I knew that people were only clicking on it because they were getting served it uh, because they're subscribers, and when they clicked on it, they loved it. But nobody knew was clicking on it, and so YouTube quickly buried it in the algorithm. And I was like, I knew it. Like I knew if I had spent more time on this, it would have been better. You know, then I did a I did a highlight video. This was basically just a highlight video. Um, but like at the beginning, I did a really quick like I actually recorded myself being like, hey, like I was thinking like the mutant is really expensive and I was thinking of an idea we could do. So we did this idea, you know, two minutes. But the other, you know, 10 minutes of the video was just highlights. But yeah. because it had focus and I made the title the poor man or the thumbnail said the poor man's mutant. And the title was when you can't afford meta use this 45,000 views. And it's so just to like, me, but but that's what I was saying before about people like loot and they like gear. Yeah. So so, and I think maybe it was something different, but I I thought that you had said that like you know that stuff is out of vogue. I feel like, but loot like if I if I made a video that was I took in a fucking item case, even though it's not possible. Yeah. You know, when I had two thick item cases. Like see that that's got the a thing, bajillion though. views. I feel like if you I feel like if you did a raid and you exited that raid with like 90 kilograms worth of loot, if you titled it extracting with 90 kilograms worth of loot versus like let's say you were using the AK 101 or whatever. Making nine million rubles with the AK 101. No, no. 
the AK-101 is the best PvP gun in Tarkov. Like, that's the one. It's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, people want to see the PvP and they want to see you loot in the video, but they're clicking on titles that are like, they want to know I'm better how than they, anybody else with this gun. You're like, oh, like, they're, because that's they what they're think, clicking. Because they think if I use this gun, I'm going to suddenly win. Yeah. Or I want to make money too. Like, it's, yeah. it's when you, when you show people, when you can align with their goals. They want to make money, so you show them making money. They want to make loot, so you show them making loot. Yes, there's a whole lot like that. You know what I mean? So when people when people title their videos like super crazy shoreline raid, like you could have posted that same exact video and just been like, you know, the P90 slays PMCs like butter. You know what I mean? If, if you shift it into like this different PvP type of title, you get more clicks. But like looking sure. looking at your last two videos, so avoid this common PvP mistake, and then your th the thumbnail says stop overplaying in PvP. I was I saw that and I was actually like, what the fuck could he mean by overplaying? Now it wasn't that actually it wasn't like the curiosity. I mean, granted, I also like yeah. can't stand watching fucking Tarkov, Tarkov videos. Yeah, but I would be more likely to click on the other one. This is why the mutant is meta. Now, why did that get half as many views in two day in in fifty oh, percent yeah. more days? Yeah, like to me that the first one that got twenty one thousand views in two days, like if if I were to judge that, I would say that that was like half as good as the best gun for PvP in Tarkov with the fucking big red arrow. Yeah. This is why the mutant is meta. So why you want to know why? Half? I know why, because because I put mutant because it's a mutant. The mutant is it, uh, the mutant is tired. The mutant is a is people a, are just sick of hearing. Yeah, about the, the mutant is mutant. is a is a muscle you've just exercised to death, man. The mutant is tired. Oh, and so poor man's mutant. People are like, oh, there's something that's new. Okay, hundred I mean, percent. If I had posted that video, why the mutant is meta two weeks after the wipe, that video would have gotten more views. I would, and I knew that when I posted the video. The reason. I didn't feel like I could go any farther without being clickbaity. Like in order to make that video, the mutant menu, the best PMC, you kind of have to lean into the mystery of like, you'd never believe what, you know, how I killed these people. And then people click on the video and be like, yes, I did. It's a mutant. Everybody runs the mutant. It was too tired. The mutant gone sexual. Yeah. Even, <laughs> even with that title, I had comments that were like, oh my God, this is so boring. Everyone used the mutant. But I just had a bunch of highlights where I was using the mutant and it's easier if you have some sort of story to your highlight video. So yeah. I made it about the mutant. But uh, look at the other ones. Is this how Chads feel every day? 20,000 views. How to fight Chads? 34,000. Yeah. Because people are like, I don't fucking care how Chads feel. I'm not a Chad. Yeah, yes, yes. My, but I want to know how to kill Chad. I've had a huge resurgence in my uh, my lessons from Beyond the Grave. Yeah, there's a, I did, one of my favorite things was my series Lessons from Beyond the Grave where I broke down fights. And um, and there came a time where those videos were bombing, dude. Five, six, seven thousand views. And I was doing one every single week. So I stopped. I was like, ugh. But I hadn't really considered that I stopped like, almost a year ago and we've just been through some crazy huge we've been some through some big shifts in tarkov a we've had a ton of new people come a ton of new people come with 12 12 like this was a big wipe for tarkov and b over the last year we've just seen this this shift this continual shift towards pvp towards min maxing pvp like the you know the the guys that are getting 12 13 1400 concurrent viewers or pvpers like we've seen this huge shift so i i underestimated how like these lessons from me on the grave videos would do and the past few ones have done really well where i'm just like i died and i in hindsight i can see why and as long as you name it something exactly like how this is how chads are killing you people i i was just like underestimated how much people are like freaking show me you know what i mean so yeah. that's been kind of that's been saving me on youtube right now is finally getting back to that and people enjoying it um mm, all right well Dude, I'm so interested. <laughs> I'm so interested. I don't. Dude, I, I, I hope it does well because I don't want to. I don't want it to be my idea if it's terrible. But uh, I'm. I'm just very interested. I, I love did. This I stuff. did give up pretty quickly. I did make a fucking TikTok, and I oh, with the power washing stuff with yeah. like the lo-fi, and uh, so th the most frustrating part was like I did the whole fucking pay money to oh boost yeah your video like through through. Was it Instagram or TikTok? I forget. Um, 
yeah, now I really don't remember. I, I um, but whatever it was, you can like, oh, you want to promote, you know, yeah. whatever. And w- what would happen was I would put like a hundred and fifty dollars in the account, and then I would go through the process of like, okay, boost it and send it to people who like ASMR, who like yeah. video games, who like lo-fi, you know, and it and it would reject. Really? They'd be like, sorry, it doesn't qualify. I'm like, what do you fucking mean it doesn't qualify? Like, so now I have $150 in like an Instagram <gasps> thing that I can't I can't take it out. That's so it's weird. It's so fucking annoying. That's super but, weird. So I, I literally posted like the three videos. They got like 11 views each. I'm like, fuck this. Yeah. Um, but uh, but that's I also like don't know the platform. Yeah. I, I know YouTube a lot better. And I yeah, I, 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 I'll give that a try. Um, but yeah. yeah, I'm considering stopping doing highlight videos i just wonder like all my highlight videos get eight to ten thousand views but yeah. then if you look at the audio video eighty two thousand. you look at my interview with nikita and the scav ai video 80 to a hundred thousand and then you know ten thousand seven thousand nine thousand mm-hmm. um the the tarkov stream pixelation one got thirty thousand um the history of Tarkov videos get yeah. somewhere between fifty and a hundred thousand. Um, the fucking the first one I did, Origins of Tarkov, that got two hundred and thirty five thousand. Oh, yeah. The fucking old Tarkov versus new Tarkov, twenty fifteen versus twenty twenty one, that got a hundred and ten thousand. Yeah, your settings then, video did really well too, right? The ultimate. Yeah, settings anytime guide. I do the headset videos, anytime I do the mm-hmm. graphic settings, those are all hundred plus thousand. But I'm gonna, I think I might just stop. I have to look like what is what is twenty thousand views fucking make me in money? Like that's the other question is like if I get a yeah you know a hundred ten thousand that's sixty five bucks. It's like sixty five dollars <laughs> times three a week times four. And that's on seven hundred dollars a month. Uh, I mean that would be like a BMW car payment, but it's also like I just wonder if it's hurting the channel. You know. Yep, it's hard, dude. It's hard to tell. Bro, the CPM and RPM are so terrible. Gaming. It's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad, dude. Um, But yeah, I feel like with highlight videos, there has to be a... There has to be a... I feel like with highlight videos, there has to be an extra layer. Not necessarily an extra layer to the video, but maybe, like, people... Like Aqua FPS, people want even though he's like not a Chad. Yeah, it's about the fucking memes and the yeah. laughing and the funniness. It's less about Tarkov. Yes, you so, either have to position yourself as somebody who is funny enough to keep you engaged throughout General Sam, Aqua FPS, or you're like the highlight videos that have done the best for me are ones that like the title and thumbnail invoke some sort of story, some sort of thing that you want to be involved in. You know what I mean? Like there has to be like a JLK, those type like, yeah, how I fucking like took down a cartel. Yeah. You know, it's like, Oh shit. Yeah. I want to know. So a lot of times what I do and I can't always do that, but like one of my best pvp videos or sorry not pvp one of my best it was just a highlight video it was just 10 minutes of me derping around in tarkov but it was uh it, the title was pvp is getting weird in tarkov and it was like a thumbnail it was like it was a good thumbnail it was like super dark and i had, I had flashlight lit up like a timmy and huh. and it just like and all of those clips were like ones where i was just like what the hell is happening like you know what i mean and so it's a it's a bounce back and forth i stream all week Then I go through all my clips and I name them. And then if I find in there, I died. Like if 80% of the clips are me dying in a spectacularly glorious way, then I send them to my brother and I say, hey, we're making a video like this. Or if they're all of me killing someone, you know, I went on an 18 rage streak with an AK-101. Well, now I'm already in the back of my head thinking, what's the trendy AK-101 title? Mm, Now Now we fluff those videos with other clips. But if there's some sort of theme if it's not just like you know jesse kazam stream highlights number 62 or if it's like if i do if you know if i make the title of the video the m4 is broken and it's an 11 minute video and there's one clip of me using an m4 in there it was just my favorite clip and i named the video after that nobody's gonna watch so it's uh you can't 
you can't really plan it because you're just like streaming and then you get highlights. So that so I try to go it's back into the highlights and then pull footage. the story. Yeah. So it's uh I don't know, it's weird. Oh man, fuck. All right. Well, maybe I'll <clears throat> tomorrow I'll make this yes. this alt account. I won't tell anybody don't tell about it. Anybody. <laughs> It'll be like your buddy he just comes out of nowhere and gets a bajillion. Bro, views. it was crazy, dude. It was I, crazy. So I genuinely, I, I mean, and I could be crazy. You know, it's like the people who are like, I've got this billion dollar business yeah, idea. Yeah. And you're like, sure you do, man. You know, mm -hmm. but like, I, I I really think that the type of people who like watching the summoning salt videos and all those things that get a million views, they would really like I think my so speed running videos. But you know, maybe I'm wrong. No, I think maybe so, I, bro. You know, I, I really know. do. I really do. We'll see, I guess. Um, and if it you, fails, I'll, it's your fault. Yeah, it's probably it's my fault. Have you, are you going to check out the Cycle Frontier at all? The beta opened back up? I, I don't know. I haven't even, literally haven't watched a second yeah. of gameplay. Because I've actually been like enjoying Tarkov a yeah, little Tarkov's bit in the last fun, few yeah. days. But I also have the itch to go back and play fucking Super Mario 64. We had cheese. We had cheese on the podcast. Yeah. He just got I the world that. record back. You the like retweeted legend. it. And I was like, cheese. <laughs> Dude, he really is the fucking. Go if you look at like the top 10 120 star speedrunners and you look at like the number of days they held the record, it was like 14, 32, 47, you know, whatever. And then cheese is like 1,350, just like. He's twice the time as number two. He's like he really is the fucking goat. Like that's insane. That's but insane. it made me wanna. It made me wanna. Yeah. I've 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 watched, I've watched the fucking runs so many times. Yeah. That like I know what the things I need to do. I know I know the lines. I just need to get it into my fingers. Yep. Half of it's getting it into your head. The other half of it just getting the technical. Yep. So yeah, I'm I get it. I get it. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, dude, it's but it's it's just a fun, yeah, it's just a fun little break from Tarkov. I was super interested to see what they would do cuz they the game was able to be down for a, a, a long time, you know what I mean? And they've uh, How did it feel? Great. They did a lot of PVP balancing. They added new AI, they changed the AI, they changed the things people they changed the way certain items feel. You can carry a lot more stuff out. There's a lot more stuff to do back at the like pseudo hideout. Um yeah. They like the game is definitely better. It, it, you know, people obviously like it, and I frustrates me, even though I get it. The, the like constant comparisons, you know what I mean? Is this Tarkov plus this? Is this COD, but like Tarkov? Is this Borderlands, but Fortnite, but also like Dark AOL Souls Instant plus. Messenger? Like it's just, it's not, I can't, but at it, what it, I think I nailed down, it's, it's Tarkov in vision, but it plays completely different. Does that mean like how it feels to play the game, how it feels to shoot the guns, how it feels to run around, that all feels different. But it's very similar to Tarkov in, in It's raid vision. and loot based. Raid and loot and hideout and extraction and the risk and secure container and factions and traitors and and it's it's all of that in vision, but it's a completely different game when you get to your player. Yeah. And so that's good because it's like being able to play Tarkov with a completely different feel you know what i mean and so it's like clunky in some ways but kind of cool in other ways and so are you gonna are you gonna be playing it next week uh yeah i'm probably gonna play it tonight after the podcast okay but are you gonna be playing it next week yeah probably like, do you think it's gonna be okay so you, you don't think it's something that like it's the new thing that comes out it'll be fun and then it's kind of like oh, you know after a week or two you're just back to tarkov and yeah wait I mean, for like wait for an update you know like well i think think it will be like that for me because i am addicted to tarkov like yeah. you know what i mean like i i don't think like my my other favorite game that i'm excited for is star citizen and i only ever play that game for three days at a time you know what i mean like i i can't really take long breaks from tarkov and it's not even so much that i'm like worried about becoming irrelevant as god i just like I like I like I I played the cycle all day yesterday with Deadly and Geeks and I loved it and I had so much fun and I woke up this morning and I was like I want to play Tarkov. So I Dude, just when I played the cycle I played it for like an hour and a half. Yeah. And I got like a sick and I'm like it just makes me want to play Tarkov. Yeah, yeah. So so the so the cycle is good. I mean they, they definitely made the game better. It's fun. It might be worth checking out. I mean if not it, it's totally understandable. It's just it's not for everybody, but uh it's it's fun. They definitely 
made a lot of meaningful changes. The devs are super on top of it when they have to like communicate stuff to the audience. And, uh, and I'm excited. And there, and there's a bunch of stuff that's been confirmed by like podcasts and stuff like that. And then like, there's like dungeons, there's like a bunch of inaccessible stuff on the map that you can run by. And like, it gets pretty deep. It get like, like the, the answer, like I could spend like hundreds, if not thousands of hours. Like there are, there are things, there are like, you know, things, guns to buy that cost like by a factor of 20, my entire like net worth in the game. Like there's, there's definitely this like upward slope of like learning how, learning the map, learning how to min max, what the things you are to need to craft, to bring in. It's, it, it's got some of the, uh, it, I think it'll have some of like the Daisy vibes, like when you watch those JLK videos where he leaves the base and they're like, okay, we're going on a supply run, right? And they like go hit the town to do the thing, like because you can craft stuff and there's a lot of stuff that require tons of resources, like in and out, especially because like what I love so much, and we've talked about this at length, the whole six hour raid, it, it, it then puts the entire thing on the player um, of how long do you want to be in this raid? Right. So like you could go in, get a goaded spawn because this these textiles that you need, you know, spawn in this area and you could be in like loot up this place and out because you have seven and you only need five in four minutes. And that's not an unsuccessful raid. And then because you went on those supply runs and you went on that time and you crafted all this gear, you could go in and be in for four hours just PVPing with this cool gear you have. You know what I mean? Because you're not yeah. like you did your thing. So it's like. It's cool. Nobody as no none of the players are there yet because it's only like 28 hours old. You know, the beta just opened back up, but it'll be cool to like, I don't know. I, I just think some of that has potential for the replayability for like the grind. You want to grind up, you get the stuff and then use it and play these really long raids out. Um, so it, it definitely has potential for that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a try. Yeah. It's pretty fun. But. I just, I, I, I always get overwhelmed when it's like, I feel like I don't want to watch guide videos and I yes. also don't want to look at chat and be like, are these blue textiles worth it? Yeah. Uh, what about these green textiles? I feel like, that too, where it's like, I, I love games with steep learning curves, but when you already have one, it's, you're just like, uh, do I want to, do I want to know how to climb this mountain? You know what I mean? Like you spend all day learning about which of the 7 million items are like yeah. the important ones. And then it's like, Oh, well, I'm now I'm bored with the game and I haven't even I've gotten to one fight and the whole yeah. time I've been sitting there while there's gunfights going on being like brain locked, looking at a hundred things and being like, what do I drop for my bag? Yeah. Like th that thing could be worth a million. I don't just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Ugh. I get that. I get that. It's what I love about games. But when you already have a game like that, it's hard to just like want to learn. And you know what I mean? I, I get that for yeah. sure. For sure. But. Anyways, <sighs> um, I don't know what that last thing was. If you want to talk about that now or next week or. Oh, um, yeah. So somebody was in the chat. I forget if it was like at the end of last episode or what. Or maybe it was just like during one of my streams as I was getting off. It is a guy named Star Jr. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, I think what it was was something along the lines of for the the like weekly or daily quests mm -hmm. imagine if it was like you kill kill raiders if you kill five you get this reward if you kill 15 you get triple the reward if you get 25 you get five times the reward having tiered that would rewards. be incredible because then you could figure out like that... i'm not going to kill 50 but i'll do 15 and give me either like a prorated reward or that would be incredible because i yeah. thought that was a great idea that's a great idea, especially for like survives, right? Because like, oh my God, that's such a good idea for so many levels. Like the survive X amount of rains. Like maybe I don't have enough time tonight to survive interchange 14 times. But if it was survive five, nine or 14, you're like, I can get five in, you know what I mean? And get yeah. some XP at least. If I only have two hours to play, I can, get, I can get a little bit in. That would be cool because it makes, it goes... 
Uh, why that's such a good idea is because it goes both ways. If you are more casual, it makes the dailies a little bit more accessible and maybe you can actually do a little bit more. And if you're a Chad, maybe it pushes you. Maybe your daily would have been 11 lab survives, but now you can do a, a, a tier that's 15. It and, pushes and you a little bit like, farther. Maybe it's double the requirement, but like two and a half times or three times the reward um, wow. to, motivate, to motivate to push you. And then at, at the same time, if you want to convince somebody to, to get out of their comfort zone and do something different, if I say Softball you got to do them. 10 hours of yeah. something you don't want, you're not going to do it. And you're going to go. But if you say go to labs twice. Yes. Then it's like maybe I, like, I have these two labs cards that I can't sell on the flea market. Uh, maybe I'll fucking use them. For you know? sure. For sure. I've done. I've had uh, the other day I was playing with, I think, Sheaf. And uh, I had a daily to go reserve five times. And I don't like reserve. But I was like, I ah, will do it. We did it, and we were like, yo, those were some fun fights. But we immediately left because it was like, yeah, we did reserve, now let's go do that. If I had been like, well, let's get the five, and then we can do something. But then we had five really good raids. I'd be like, well, I mean, let's go for nine. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. exactly. It, it, dude. And then if you get cucked, if you try to get five and you don't survive in the first seven, you're like, fuck this. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, bro, that's such a good idea. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, so the, yeah, the guy's name was Star Jr. I don't remember if he had like underscores or X's yeah, or whatever yeah. in his name. Um, I could probably like search the user in chat, um, but uh, I'm going to run that by, I haven't talked to Nikita in a, in a week or two. Um, I'll run that by him and, uh, and see. Yeah, that would see be really good. That's one of those things where there's just like absolutely no downsides to that. Like. And it doesn't even require a whole lot on the back end because you wouldn't be accepting three quests. It's just one quest, but it would just in the text would show you the different rewards for the different tiers like that. That would be such a win because once again, we've talked about the potential of dailies and weeklies to really push people to play more in this late wipe. And when you get on a week or two of really good ones, it really truly does make me want to play this game and farm that XP. But when you get on a week or two of bad ones, it really makes me frustrated so anything we can do to r reach out and reach more of this potential would be beneficial i would have been so much more likely to try my six sur lab survives if the first one was three and then i was like me and valley we did three we did we probably would have done nine we we went to customs after we hit the six we probably would have done three more so like and imagine if it the the kill killer fucking 100 times imagine if it was kill him 20 times and you get an armband kill him 70 times and you get you unlock the souped up RPK yeah. or whatever, kill them a hundred times, get the track. It's like I would go for the twenty five. Yeah, I could farm that in like a week. Bruh, I just but I'll never do a hundred armband. Oh, I would, I would try, I would go for twenty five for that. I would actually try and kill them twenty times for that. And it would be cool if, like, once you hit that threshold, you collect it, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't. You don't. It doesn't have to be like all or nothing. Yeah you would get the reward and continue on if you decide yeah, you, you don't have to, to do... pick one and then commit to it you just go yeah 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 for sure it'll be sick that's a great idea that's a really good idea like that's one of those yeah. ones where it's like yeah put getting the keto on the phone that's a great idea yeah i think i i can guess how they implemented the daily <laughs> like under under the covers yeah. and that would it's enough of an annoying thing yeah you know it's like after you buy a car then driving yeah. it back to the lot two days later and saying, well, I want this to be green and I want leather. It's like, you, if you told us a fucking week ago, we yeah. could have easily done that, you know? But, like, now it's going to be $20,000, you know what I mean? So I just, I highly doubt I they get, have that I mechanism yeah. built in. But it could be, like, a long-term thing that they implement, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyways... Yeah, this was a this is a good podcast. I feel like this one was like you and me zoned in. Like I feel like I didn't reach out too much, which I'm sorry, but that was just like this is a good this is a good cast. Um but yeah, that's yeah, what's man. uh that's what's going on in the in the Tarky world and in the YouTube world and uh um yeah, it's been fun recently having guests on. Like Dan was great, Deadly was great. We're going to try and get that more, but uh but yeah. Thank you guys for hanging. Thanks for sticking with us. This will be live early next week on all the other platforms. I almost forgot. I was so proud of myself. I edited the podcast on Sunday and I was like, Monday, I was like, I'm setting myself up for Monday, right? I'm like, yes, it's edited. It's thumbnailed. I'm like, 
ah, Monday, I don't have to worry about it. And then I went to bed. And unfortunately, that was the only thing that stuck in my brain. So I got up Monday and I was like, yeah, the podcast is done. And it was just like it was 730 and I hadn't even started uploading it. It was the exported video was just sitting. I was like, no. So it was a little late last week. But it'll be up. People are like, any idea when the podcast? I'm like, whenever Jesse gets Dude, around I was, it, like, I was I'm not going to so fucking like, bug you. I was like ahead of the curve. And then I threw all that away and was behind the curve. But I'll try not to do that this week. But it's like when I go to bed early. If I go to bed at like 7 30 p.m. and I somehow sleep until noon, it's like, come on. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to get up early. Fuck. Yep. But thank you guys for hanging. Thanks for sticking with us. And we will definitely see y'all on the next one. Peace.